What a difference five years can make. The big difference this time around is that the latest iteration is underpinned by the more sophisticated Candlex sourced Alpha platform, rather than the older Australian developed SATA architecture used by its predecessor, and Holden's last homegrown Commodore. The latest Camaro ZL1 is nothing if not a revelation, so the prospect of right hand drive converted versions of the car landing in Oz at some point via the Walk and Shaw Group is a tantalizing prospect indeed particularly as supplies of the V8 Commodore SS will have well and truly dried up by then. up the nitty gritty. So, what exactly is the Camaro ZL1, and what is it that makes the Bodhi wearing coupe simultaneously a sledgehammer and a scalpel? Naturally, a big part of the recipe is a thumping great V8, it could hardly be an American muscle car without one, could it? The motor in question is a wet sumped version of the 6.2 liter supercharged LT4 unit thrashing out a towering 485 kilowatts at 6,400 revolutions per minute and 866 newton meters at 3,600 revolutions per minute. The V8 can be had with either a 6-speed manual or the brand new 10-speed, automatic, and we're glad it's the latter we sampled as this transmission proved every bit as eye-opening as the rest of the car, serving up with crackier changes and a generally foolproof electronic brain. More on this shortly.